Okay, so I'm going to continue on from the previous video, which was how to calculate gable and hip roof bevels. Um, these are all the, uh, the calculations that we did uh, previously. Uh, we converted pitch ratio to rise per meter run and so on down to uh, the final uh, bevel, which was the, uh, the backing angle. Uh, we've got all these answers in place and we will be referring to some of them uh, for the next calculations when we need to determine uh, the length of certain roof members. So um, we're going to need the true length of common rafter per, per meter run, which is this calculation here. And uh, the answer for that was 1.155 meters. So we'll be using that calculation um, for true length of common rafter per meter run in our following calculations. We'll also be using the true length of hip per meter run, uh, which is here on the sheet. And the answer for that one was 1.527. So we'll also be using that. Uh, another one of the, um, the lengths that we'll use for our calculations is this uh, number here, uh, which is the plan length of hip per meter run. We'll also be using that for our following calculations as well. Okay, so we'll move on to the, the next sheet. And I'll just go on to the next sheet now, and you see that um, it's for standard gable and hip roof rafter lengths. Okay, so um, I'm going to calculate all the members as you see on your, your sheet there, right down to the second creeper reduction. Uh, but it's important to note that uh, if you're using a pattern rafter, um, you probably won't need to calculate your common rafter uh, length and distance to bird's mouth or your crowned end rafter length and distance to bird's mouth uh, because those will be marked on your, your pattern rafter um, and that will be shown in another video uh, when we go through setting out of pattern rafters. Uh, but we'll be working through these calculations today.